Ahoy, mateys. Take a peep at what just washed ashore. A flintlock pistol she be. Not me weapon of choice, of course. I've me hook. R. Shiver me timbers. She'll have you shaking in your boots. Six shots she comes with. For a right-handed man she be. Luckily for me, me hook is on me left. A right good weapon, I say, for any scurvy knave. I only needed one shot for that scallywag back there. Took me loot, he did. First I shot him. Then I cut him. Arr. Okay guys, let's get to the unboxing. This is the Busby Flintlock Pirates Plus Extreme Blast Dark Power. Blaster. You got your Rough Stuff Air Blasters logo. It includes five, five foam darts. Busby Toys. Take a look at the back. You got your packaging material actually comes through the back of the box. This retailed for $9.99. I happened to pick it up at a Cracker Barrel store. Cracker Barrel uh, Country Store Restaurant. It's got your different kinds of Busby blasters that you can buy. It tells you which darts you can and cannot use. It also tells you that the air blaster um, is interchangeable with all major brands of darts. Shows you where the trigger is, the hammer, and the barrel, and how to use. There's a warning on here. Um, just, you know, like any other warning, please do not launch at people or animals. Uh, do not put any objects other than the foam darts provided into the launcher. Do not attempt to modify the darts. Do not aim at eyes or face. There we go. There's the blaster itself. It's kind of cheap made, but it's kind of heavy also. Um, it is painted to look like a real flintlock pistol, so that's a nice feature. And by state law, obviously, you have the orange barrel. Um, this would be, you know, the thing that you press the gunpowder down in with. And the priming mechanism is this hammer right here, and it's right-handed as you can see I'm right-handed and this would be how I would use the gun if I were left-handed this would be how I would use the gun and it there's no hammer there so it's kinda awkward but for a right-handed person it's pretty easy pretty nice blaster actually and you do have screw holes in case you do want to get inside the blaster I was worried that you wouldn't have when I saw the blaster but on the underside you got your Busby Toys logo all the copyright information and um, access. There we go. Let's pop that out. There are no instructions with this. Um, that's because I said the instructions were on the back. And you get a regular package of Busby darts. These are the regular purple, yellow darts. We'll do a firing test first, and then we'll get to our, you know, real stuff. We want to know how hard this shoots. We want to know how fast it shoots, and we want to know how far it shoots, right? So, you know, we're just going to load one dart, prime the blaster, and we'll do a straight shot here so you can see. That's pretty nice. Um, shoots pretty good, pretty hard. This is my Busby dart versus my Nerf dart. As you can see the Nerf dart is at about 0 .073 meters. Busby dart comes in at about 6.7 meters or 6.7 centimeters which is 0 .067 meters. Okay, this is going to be uh, Busby 
flint lock pistol speed test one point zero zero six seven seconds Busby Flintlock Pirate Pistol Speed Test 2 with Nerf Dart. Point zero zero five eight seconds. Distance Test 1. Straight shot, zero feet. It stopped about right here, and that's 17 feet, and then it bounced almost 19 feet. Okay, this is going to be trajectory shot. At thirty degrees, and that is about twenty four feet. That's where it hit, and then it bounced to around twenty five feet eight inches, thirty degrees. with Nerf Dart from zero feet. Okay, that one hit just after our tape line here, so we are at 26 and six inches. All right, guys, here's the final verdict. We've got 32.8 feet per second at uh, roughly 17 feet versus 24 feet with a 30 degree trajectory. And then with a Nerf dart, 41.3 feet per second at um, almost 27 feet with a trajectory shot. So, you know, even though it's a pretty cool little blaster, a nice single shot pistol to have. Only mm -hmm. downfall to this that I can find is, you know, even though it is Busby and does shoot a little on the short side, it is a right handed gun. So if you are left handed, it is a right handed blaster. So if you are left handed, that's going to be a problem. Um, but you know, I can see you dressing up like a pirate, stuffing this in your belt and going gung ho on somebody. Having this as a, you know, a final single shot pistol after you've exhausted all your rounds from other stuff, playing. HVZ or whatever. So if this is something you might consider picking up, then you know I'll give my okay on it.